Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm just Sarah BNA. Thank you so much for tuning into today's tutorial. We are trying out curly clippings for the first time. Shout out to Chris Queens for sponsoring today's video. Let's jump right in to styling. Let's get into this transformation. I am starting out with a three-part bun. She's cute and all, but these clippings from Curls Queen are even cuter. I love how they always give you a bunch of goodies that actually come in handy, especially the bonnet. It's my favorite. But most importantly, my favorite is the clippings. They're such high quality. So I'm going to give them a good shampoo and conditioner before we get started. This is really going to show you guys the actual length of the hair. It's much longer than it's shown when it's dry. All of the specific details about the hair will be linked in my description box down below. So if you're curious about the color, the length, or the actual texture, check out my description box. So once I shampooed, I conditioned as well, and I also made sure to leave the conditioner on for a little bit. But you guys, I experienced no tangles with this hair in like one strand of hair in terms of shedding. The quality is A1. I will not tell you a lie. So I went ahead and let the hair air dry while I took my hair down. Y'all, in a second, I'm going to show you this continuous mist water bottle that I got from Amazon. It's linked down below on my Amazon storefront. I don't understand how I was living without this, but it got my hair together in seconds. So this is my starting point. This is my curly hair. This is my texture. And it actually matches the curly clip-ins to a T. So now I'm going to section out my leave out. This is the first thing that I do just to make sure that I have enough hair left out to cover the clip-ins. I'm going for a flip over kind of style, you know, not a super defined part, something that looks natural and realistic. So I'm just twisting my leave out to keep it out of the way. So now it's time for my braid down and I'm just going to detangle first. I'm giving myself four big braids in the back. That's like the best thing ever when it comes to installing any type of curly hair. You don't have to do micro braids. It's such an easy process to install. So yes, my braids are big, but I do want them to lay flat. So what I do is crisscross them in the back and then I'm going to get some bobby pins to secure them to make sure my ends don't slip under my install. Now comes the fun part, installing the clips. I just can't get enough of the quality. The way these clips are made, oh my god, I'm obsessed. So I'm starting off with their largest clip, which is a five clip piece. And I'm putting this along the perimeter of my head. So I'm starting in the far back and I'm going to drag it up near my ears. I'm curving the clip upwards to make sure that the hair seems full from the front and the back. This is going to be very important for later. Positioning the clips this way basically makes sure that you're leveling out the density of the hair. And once I do that one, I'm going to follow it up again, the same exact curvature with another five clip piece. 
So now that I made sure that my hair looks full from the front and the back, I'm going to go in with a four clip straight across to make sure I'm moving up my head. The worst thing you can do is install hair and run out of hair once you get to the top. So make sure you're pacing yourself in a, in a good way. Once all the four pieces were installed, I moved on to the three pieces and then I also moved on to the two pieces. And what a lot of people don't tell you when it comes to installing clip-ins is braiding your hair down actually really helps. Clip-ins are not a painful style, but when they snag on your real hair, it can cause a lot of tension. So having your hair, so having your hair braided down is super helpful. So now we're on our last clip. I've made it all the way to the top of my head and this hair is already blending in so well with my leave out and my leave out ain't even left out yet. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Like it already looks so good, so full without any of my hair being added to it. It's perfect. So first thing I want to do in terms of blending my hair with the clip-ins is misting the hair just to make sure everything is wet and moisturized. Adding water allows hair to absorb any other moisture. That's a tip when it comes to clip-ins, fake hair, or your real hair. Always start with water. And if you are having problems with clumping your natural hair and getting your curl pattern to pop, I highly recommend flat twisting your hair instead of braiding it in the front because it kind of molds the hair into a curl so exactly what I did with the clip-ins I'm gonna add some moisture to my natural hair before I go in with the actual product and I'm gonna be following it up with some mousse just to make sure that my curls are popping my hair loves mousse but can we get into the blend that is already very prominent with just water like let's take a moment So the hair is already blending really well. You can stop here, but if your natural hair is anything like mine, it loves to poof up over time. And I don't want to have an afro in the front and long hair in the back. So I will be adding this curl control jelly that I got from Curls. It's from the Blueberry Bliss line. It smells like blueberries and I absolutely love it. I'm going to use like the raking method and the praying hands method to get this all saturated and fully coated along my hair and the clip-ins. And as you can see, it's clumping my curls perfectly and my hair is already blending in really well with the clip-ins, but what I am gonna do for an even better blend is take one small piece of my hair and I'm gonna twist it with some of the clip-ins. This is going to ensure that once the hair dries, your hair won't be poking out and you'll have a seamless install. Let's get into a close-up of this blend because it's perfect. Literally, I feel like a magician. So, of course, what I did to this side, I'm going to do to the other side as well. Now we're looking really good, but I need a little volume towards the top of my head to make sure that everything blends out perfectly. So I'm going to go get my blow dryer. What I recommend is using a diffuser, but since I don't have one, it's fine. I'm just going to use my blow dryer as is, and I'm going to make sure that I scrunch my hair from the top and the bottom to make sure that I add as much volume as I possibly can. This is going to add the finishing touch to the overall style.
Now that everything is blended to perfection, I'm just going to touch up my edges. They were already done for my first style, but we want them perfect. So I have been obsessed with the Got To Be Ultra glued again. This used to be my holy grail back in college, but I forgot all about it. And I recently found it again in Target. It does flake, so just top it off with a little bit of oil. Um, but other than that, you are perfectly good to go. So guys, this is the firm product. I'm obsessed, okay? First impressions of the curly hair, I absolutely love them. I feel as though they give you a better variety of sizes of clips and the amount of clips when you get the curly hair. So I feel like you get more bang for your buck. Um, I feel like this texture matched my hair perfectly. This is also letting me know that the front of my hair is um coming around and she's getting a little more healthier because she's actually able to blend into this curl pattern perfectly and i used to have heat damage so proud of me but this is blended perfectly the hair is super full this is one pack okay i want to specify that this is one pack and this is all you need this is more than enough hair. I use every single clip. She's super full. I love how I have a lot of the hair pulled to the front and it's still super duper full in the back. Um, it dries really nicely and I highly recommend using this product on your natural hair to blend it because um, it allows your hair to stay elongated, you know, but I'm absolutely in love. I have nothing bad to say like it's perfect so all of the information about this hair will be linked in the description box below make sure that you guys check that out use my code to save money at checkout thank you to girls queen for sponsoring today's video and i will see you guys in the next one bye mamas